This time, I have the 20 valve junker on the dyno. I'll be using it to answer some of the questions from the previous injector time video. The engine in this car is stock apart from a little bit of a head tidy up. The extra power comes from the intake and exhaust mods, which can be seen in some of our older videos. The injector duty is around 70% of max power, so more in line with your average engine. Alright, first up I'll be showing some steady state tuning, then I'll move on to some power runs. So, I'll pause here since we have a bunch of stuff on the screen. Starting at the top left we have injector timing. I'm running this in a single zone rather than a mat, just to keep things simple for the video. And I'll be starting at 400 end of injection, which is the default for this ECU. Next up we have injector duty cycle, then engine RPM, air fuel ratio, power being read from the dyno, torque also being read from the dyno, take more notice of this one as it has more resolution than the power numbers. Then over here we have the fuel map, I'll be holding the throttle at 7% and the dyno will be holding the engine RPM at 3000. Last of all we have a 20 valve here, doing 20 valve things, much excitement. Right, so I've decided on 250 and trim some fuel out. As you can see the injector duty cycle has dropped. Now if we go back to the 400 setting we started with, the fuel ratio is the same, injector duty is higher and we're also making a touch less torque.
As you have just seen, there's basically zero difference in power on this setup at wide open throttle, unlike the engine in the previous video. But we did manage to make the engine more efficient in the low load testing, using less fuel to make the same power. So yep, happy days.